Alright, so what I got to work on today is this thing. And uh, it says radio only, it says CD player doesn't work, but we're not going to be fixing it. We're going to be modifying it. And um, it's pretty filthy. Probably if I just cleaned it up, it probably would work again. But um, these things are so cheap. It's a Kobe. And I'll show you how cheap it is. The, they don't even put a dial indicator on the front of it for the FM or AM radio. It's actually on the knob itself, or on the dial itself. And the front is just a two-digit two digit LED for the CD. Uh, they're garbage. But it's perfect for putting in a garage and uh, getting thrown around and you know, don't really care if it gets dirty or, or abused or anything like that, which is probably where this thing came from in the first place because it's pretty pretty filthy. And because of that, I am wearing gloves. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm not going to fix the CD player. Matter of fact, I haven't even tested it, so I don't even know if it works. But um, what I am going to be doing is uh, disabling a CD player and putting a mount up here for a cell phone or iPod or whatever you want to use, MP3 player, and use an audio or uh, auxiliary input so we can play cell phone through or music you know, from an MP3 player or whatever through this. Um, and I'll probably cut a hole in here and put a, a USB jack so that we can charge the phone as well. But like I said, we're going to put a... Uh, I was going to put actually a jack. I was going to turn this headphone jack into um, an input instead of an output. Because who the hell uses this piece of shit to listen for headphones unless you're five years old and this is your first radio. Um, I was going to make an input, but uh, that's getting too fancy. I'm just going to have a wire come out, head, headphone jack that goes right into the cell phone. So let's open it up. Oh my god, it's disgusting inside, too. Uh, Alright, so this here is the board for the CD control. The one nice thing about stuff like this is uh, it's all through hole. Through hole. It's, there's, I mean, there is some surface mount stuff on here, but... Um, if you notice, this is all, this is all through hole device, uh, components. Makes it real nice and easy to work on. Part of me feels bad. I, I actually kind of want to fix the CD player just to make it work again, but the other part of me just doesn't care. So here, let's get rid of that. All right. So this here is the audio cable that comes off of this board here, and you can tell because there's a sh the black part. There's the shielded uh, ground, and then you have left and right. If you've ever worked on tape players or whatever, you see, see these things a lot, usually coming off the heads to get this board out. Um, now, I'm, I'm actually in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm actually printing a, it's a, like a holder for a phone that I'm just going to glue on the top of this. Uh, I don't n know how well it's going to work. Uh, look like it might work by the picture on Thingiverse, but we'll find out. Also, uh, printing off some USB mounts for, like, uh, you know, female USB Type-A. I love how... <laughs> you gotta love this. They went through the trouble of actually putting connectors on everything. And then just decided, nah, we'll just solder it right to the board for half of the stuff. Like, why? 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 I don't know. And I gotta go back and look at the footage because this fell off and... I gotta figure out where to solder that to. I mean, obviously it's over here somewhere, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. So here's the audio input. Now the question is, is this switched or is this always on? I'm gonna guess it's switched because if it was always on, the amplifier would be running, you know, nonstop. Because on the front of this, you have three options: you have radio, off, or C ooh, radio off or CD. So maybe when it's on CD, the amplifier is on even when it's not playing. See, because I was thinking that sometimes you have to short out one of the lines on one of these ribbons to enable the amplifier. Might not even have to do that. This might be easier than I thought. So, um, let's find out. Let's plug this in. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, 
we don't want radio. Radio off CD. Let's go to CD. And let's turn it up. Yeah, I can hear it popping and clicking um, for me touching that. So, which means that this is active. As luck would have it, I found this on the floor earlier today. And I don't know if it works. I don't know if there's a reason that it was laying on the floor. I don't know if the cable's bad. But we're going to find out. These wires have a coating on it. You have to burn past that coating. Just in case this thing is shorted out, really have no interest in blowing out a phone. I'd rather blow out an old iPod. It's probably not going to happen, but for right now, we're just going to test it with this old iPod. Okay, I can't believe how easy that is. Cool. Like I said, usually you have to, uh, you know, when you hit play, that's when it activates the, the, the amplifier. This one, I guess, because it's so damn cheap. That's what happened. All right, so I got all those soldered up. I got a little bit of heat shrink on the left and right positive wires. It's not the prettiest job in the world, but I think it'll do. And that heat shrink is a little bit too small. Actually, it's a lot too small, but that's okay. I'll just use it to uh, hold that in place, and then we'll put the big stuff over the front. There we go. Before we put it back together, let's test it out. So it should still be on. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be good for talk radio and podcasts. <laughs> that's about it. But you know what? That's fine. That's all I'm personally looking for. All right. So that part of it's done. That that actually was a lot faster, a lot easier than I thought it would be. Like I said, I thought it would be cutting down uh, these uh, cables here to figure out what does what. So but didn't have to do that. So that's good. Sometimes that's kind of fun to have to do that. But ooh, and you know what else is over here? Since it's not going to get used anymore. A little leaf switch. I'll take that. Um, debating if I want to... You know what? It's not getting used. I always use the, the motors for something. Still have to remember to solder this on. Wherever it came from. Um, got to grab a 5-volt power regulator. I need a... I think I have one right here. Yeah, I have a, a female USB. Actually, I can just leave it right on the board, too. Okay, let me go check the printer, and we'll resume when 